guys, what's up? Welcome back here to another episode of Intuitive Angling and really appreciate you guys joining me for today's video. And guys, today we're gonna to talk about something that I'm not sure that we've talked about before in any video of the 3200 that I've ever done before, and that is Alabama rig fishing, specifically a finesse Alabama rig, which is sort of the wave of the future here. So we're gonna go over it. I'm gonna give you guys some tips and advice on how to fish it and what to look for, sort of how to set it up in today's video. Also guys, real quick, just want to remind you about our spring sale on my Solar Bat Series RB2 and RB3 Series sunglasses. If you guys would buy, if you guys would like to get a pair for the spring sale, you can get them right now at 25% off and any purchase over $100, you get a grab bag free from uh, Solar Bat. So I'll put the Solar Bat link in the description. You guys can check out some of the, these good Solar Bat glasses. I think you really like them. Okay guys, first of all, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the A-Rig. Um, I am not a proponent. I'm not a fan of the A-Rig in tournaments. It's like I applaud Bassmaster for banning A-Rig. I think that's the right thing to do. I'm really surprised that MLF hasn't followed suit on it. I do not think that it has any place in tournament competition when you talk about just tradition and fair chase and, you know, everything that's associated with the, the heritage of the sport, which is really considered, you know, one rod, one lure. So this whole idea of multiple lures I don't think has any place in tournament fishing, but this is a fun bait to fish for if you're just fun fishing out there. And that's what I, what I want to talk about today in today's video. Now, the A-Rig has had a, a a massive evolution over the years. I remember I was at the tournament where Paul Elias won the uh, that FLW Open on, on the A-Rig back years ago, which set it off. He was throwing this big honking A-Rig giant with big number, like five and six inch swim baits on it. And that quickly faded out. A lot of people, you know, don't use that anymore out there. But the thing that has sort of taken its place, especially for me, fun fishing guys, is a finesse A-Rig. Now this this one right here, I think it's called the Desert Rig. And also guys, I'll put my uh, Tackle Warehouse link in the description for the A-Rig section. If you guys wanna get you some of these finesse A-Rigs along with the baits I'll talk about here. If you guys wanna use that link, it's a good way to help out. But anyway, a finesse A-Rig is usually a three hook one like this, two or three hooks, um, and they got smaller diameter, shorter wires on it, and you can throw them on lighter equipment. I mean, you can throw this A-Rig right here. It doesn't weigh that much. This thing probably only weighs, I don't know, maybe a half ounce or so. So you can throw it on like a 7.2 medium heavy action rod. You can cast it around targets, like around lay downs and edges of the docks. You can fish it just like a crankbait. It's a lot more user friendly. And on top of that, it gets more bites and it catches big fish too, because I think the fish have really got conditioned to the larger A-rigs and the larger baits. So the baits that I want to talk about, guys, that we use on this is my favorite. I use this Mega Bass 3-inch Hazendong Shad, and then I'll use sometimes some type of like a rib swim bait like this, like either the Mega Bass Spark Shad or this Kitek here. But these really, these little Hazendongs are really good for teasers on there, sort of like to mix them up a little bit. Most of the time I've got it on the eighth ounce uh, Mega Bass Okashira jig head. I'll link all this stuff in the description too if you guys are interested in it. But the main thing guys is going to downsize finesse the A-Rig with that. Now a lot of people think that just because you, you're going to a smaller A-Rig that you're taking away your chances of catching big ones. Guys, I've caught quite a few four and five pound fish on those finesse you know, A-Rigs here. The big fish will still hit it, but you, you get a lot more bites with it and it works in the high, more highly fish, highly pressured fishing situation. So if you have a lake that has gotten a lot of A-rig pressure over the past 10 years, if you get you some of these downsized finesse A-rigs, it'll allow you to keep catching them. Now, a couple of different conditions as far as if you don't have a lot of experience with an A-rig, let me sort of tell you guys the scenarios that it works best in. It's going to work best in the pre-spawn. That's the best time to fish an A-rig. You can, you can catch a few on it the rest of the time of year, but for the most part, the A-Rig is sort of a colder water, you know, late winter, early spring type of a bait up until that water temperature starts to hit about 60 degrees. Now, what you need to look for is a, there's sort of like a perfect scenario as far as when the A-Rig works the best. Number one, it works best if you got water clarity of anywhere between say three to six feet. I found that that's been ideal. Second with that, it helps if you have some type of a low light condition, like some type of at least 75% overcast. Uh, it can be a few, you know, sun pe peeking out once in a while. But the main thing is you need wind. A-Rig is 
it, it is probably the most wind sensitive bait that I've ever fished. If you if you go out on days where the wind's not blowing very much, um, you might catch a few, but you're not gonna catch near as many as on those windy days. So ideal scenario, guys, if I could give you a, a perfect situation for an A-rig, it would be right around the time that water temperatures are between say 45 and 60 degrees. Again, water visibility three to six feet, 10 to 20 mile an hour wind, some type of a heavy, partly cloudy to overcast day is gonna be the prime situation. That's really gonna put those fish in a lot more active chasing mood for an A-rig. And the type of stuff you fish it around is just dependent upon your lake. It could be grass, it could be points, rocky banks, timber, whatever like that, it just depends. But the main thing, guys, is just downsize them. Most of the time I'm using this, I'll throw it on 17 pound test Seaguar and Vizix line. I use that Mega Bass Perfect Pitch 7-2 rod for the most part. And um, this is the one I fish, it's like I, out of all the A-rig fishing that I'd still do, which is just for fun, I never use them in tournaments, I use this 100% of the time. I never go to, with the big ones anymore. And this has completely uh, taken over my, my A-rig fishing. So anyway, just wanted to pass that along to you guys out there. Um, hope it adds up to a few more fish, and we'll talk later.